This video topic will be about how we can really save money, generate wealth, how to invest, the mindset that I have when investing, and a lesson I've learned over the years. A lot of times people see advertisements that's almost too good to be true. And I think that's kind of the lesson I've learned is that anything that's too good to be true, wealth that's gained too quickly, is not the type of direction that you should aim for. Instead, when you're investing into public equity and into bonds, into different investment vehicles, you should focus on the performance of 10 years. What's the five year to 10 year plan? Think as an intelligent investor, how can you invest your money and get the return in a five year to 10 year period rather than in a five day to 10 day or a couple months, how much you would generate? I see a lot of ads on YouTube for day trading, for uh, e-commerce products, for teaching you how to do Amazon FBA. There's like. I feel like everything that's out there, like how to make, how to become wealthy or how to make passive income. I want to talk about passive income. I see a lot of ads on entrepreneur programs, on YouTube ads or Instagram ads. I'm just shocked at what a lot of people, the misconceptions out there. For example, we have ads that are saying, hey, live this lifestyle and make, you know, six digit income or seven digit income and I don't have to do anything. I can work anywhere and it generates me money. I don't know any entrepreneurs that generate seven digits on their business without working. Actually, most entrepreneurs I know work way more than a nine to five job. Freelancers that are passionate in their craft are working 12 hours, you know, 16 hours a day for the same pay until they get to a certain level where their equity is worth more than what their peers are making in hourly wage. The true passive income in my mind is when you have $5 million or even a million dollars saved up and you're generating 6% on rental income, 6% on uh, investment dividends, on re whatever that investment vehicle is that you're getting a solid 46% on and let's say you have a million dollars in the account then you make $40,000 to $60,000 truly passive income based on interest or dividends that have guaranteed yields or very low risk yields those are your true passive income so unless the YouTube ad is saying hey I'll, sh I'll teach you how to make six digit income when you have five million dollars I don't think that's truly passive income and we don't even want to get started on MLMs talking about passive income what they're really just a sales team selling different products and different pyramid schemes so there is no passive income unless you have that kind of net worth that you want to get to so talking about interest rate, I would like to give a quick tip on how you can make an extra $10,000 just from watching this video and I hope that I can provide you with this type of value. A quick thing I've learned is to find an online savings account instead of a typical Chase Bank, Bank of America, which offers close to 0% in interest rate. But you can actually have a go online like Betterment or American Express online savings. I'm not sponsored by any of these products, just listing a few that I personally use and you can get a higher APR. They're also FDIC secured, so you wanna make sure that they're $250,000 secured. You're putting in 100,000 checking, that extra 1% is an extra $1,000 in your pocket at the end of the year and they pay out monthly uh, in interest. So it's really important that these little tips can actually help you with your wealth. It's things like that. What type of real estate do you invest in? Diversifying your passive investment portfolio like your savings account, like your rental properties, uh, or a REITs, R-E-I-T-S, real estate investment trust funds. Those are your passive investment vehicles that you can look at.